Cassio? Hello? Santino Corleone. I want 50 good men out here right away. 50 good men the deleted scene of the godfather is an iconic scene now what we're going to go through is going to break down a cut scene within the godfather that was deleted it's got all the drama tension and suspense that you'd see from the godfather series it's basically a sum up of the godfather in just a few minutes now i really like this deleted cut scene and i believe the director should have kept it in it sends out many powerful messages the scene is set at a point where the news breaks out that Vito Corleone has just been shot, sending out shockwaves throughout the whole criminal underworld. This guy is a big mafia boss, especially for the Corleone family. Vito is the backbone of the family and for him to be taken out shows basically the potential demise of the Corleone family, putting a huge pressure on Sonny Corleone now to step up to those big shoes. I'm going to break down each point which is quite significant so let's start and play the scene no i'll wait ma how are you Santino, sono casa, stai cucinando. Vieni. Ah, ah, yeah. Just got a phone call and my pop's been hurt. I don't know how bad. Santo, non ammazzate tua madre. Non so, ci ma. So what we see here is Sonny go to tell his mother the news. There is some opinion that can be seen as though Sonny is getting some sort of getting his mother to console him, likely into when a child plays outside and hurts themselves and gets their mothers to kiss them and tell them everything is okay. But again, this is just opinion. Let's move on to the next part of the clip. I'm gonna go change in case we can see him. Yeah, notice how Sonny's mother reacts. She's married to a mafia boss. Any other woman at this moment of time would have been panicking, screaming, all sorts of emotions. She understands the life they are involved in. She understands this was the consequences of the life. She already has played out what to do next. It wasn't a matter of if this day would come, but when. She has accepted her husband for who he is and ultimately his fate. It's like she has bypassed all the four stages of the grieving process and skipped straight to stage five, which is acceptance. Let's move on. This is interesting, Sonny grabs food not because he's hungry but because he's seeking comfort like when people eat excessively, drink alcohol or smoke drugs as a mean to escape reality. We also see a little bit of anger creeping in and we all know Sonny has a hot temper which is in some bearing and responsibility leading to his ultimate fate. Notice how Sonny stops short of sitting in Vito's chair. Subconsciously, he feels he cannot fill those boots, so he sits on the chair opposite. Very interesting. <laughs> I want 50 good men out here right away. I heard you, Sonny, but what about Clemenza's regime? No, no, I don't want to use Clemenza's people right now, all right? All right. All right. Notice how Sonny refuses to use Clemenza's regime. He has an instinct 
that Paulie had something to do with his father's hit by calling in sick. As Paulie is a soldier of Clemenza, Sonia has suspicions that the order may have come from Clemenza. We later find out that it was Paulie that was a sole traitor, not Clemenza. And also, in later scenes, Sonia requests Clemenza to whack Paulie. You have to give Sonia credit here for being bold. find this bit interesting as well notice how Sonny goes into the safe to get the phone book to call Luca Brasi they have their capos to handle but uh, however it says those Luca Brasi's number is like a secret ultimate weapon of the Corleone family it's like a nuclear bomb and to be used as a last resort we see a lot of Luca Brasi's character in the book but not so much in the movie and that's the end of the scene Sonny has to make moves and to be fair to me he did put up a fight he did he weeded out the traitor poorly and he showed they meant business the Corleone family they had they stood up strong under Sonny's leadership by taking out Bruno Totali and sending his brother Michael to go meet McCluskey and Salotso unfortunately overall Sonny didn't make a good done in comparison to Vito during his short stint and this was also mentioned by Vito so there you have it guys, The my reaction to the 50 good men deleted cutscene. What did you think? Did you think this scene should have been kept in The Godfather? Let me know what your thoughts are below. If you like this video today, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, hit the bell notification and I'll see you in the next one.